What up, family? This is your man, Jeff. Welcome back to my channel, Food Delivery Guru. Today is Friday the 14th of August. And yes, y'all, um, I got my first order for the shop and deliver through DoorDash. So this is a pilot program that DoorDash is running right now. Um, it is kind of similar if you guys do Postmates, when you get an order for Walgreens or CVS or something, you go in there and pick up a few items, you pay for it, you know, and then you deliver it to the customer. So DoorDash has gotten into that market as well, okay? And they started a pilot program. So today, I got a Walgreens uh, order, okay? It was 14 items, the payout was $9, okay? So the first thing, my first instinct is, man, 14 items, how long is this going to take me? And I don't really know if I want to do it, but I said, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to share it with you guys. All right. The experience that I had. All right. So $9, 14 items. Uh, the mileage was 5.3 miles. Now, normally if you get a $9 order and it's only 5.3 miles, there isn't anybody that normally doesn't take orders like that unless they just got some serious issues, okay? Um, but, you know, I decided to take it and, you know, the 14 items wasn't that bad. Now, you guys know that have watched my channel for a while. I was a manager at Walgreens for 12 years, so I know the layout of their stores. I know where everything is pretty much, so... It wasn't going to be a problem for me shopping in a Walgreens, okay? Uh, ten of the items was all ramen noodles. So that just left a two-liter soda, uh, some lotion, and something else I got. I don't even remember what it was. But, you know, um, that was a very easy shop. So I was in and out of Walgreens in five minutes, y'all. Now... Y'all know me, I go above and beyond. I did text the customer to see and let them know that if they wanted to provide me with their telephone number uh, for their Walgreens points, um, I would be willing to do so. They never text me back, so I went on and just used my number to get the points. Um, I do it with Postmates all the time. Um, if I happen to get an order uh, for something that I know I could get points for, but uh, lo and behold, um, I ended up using my number, saved the customer $2.50 on the receipt, um, and I was done. Headed to the customer and dropped it off, okay? So the way the program works, um, it's not like Postmates where you can actually take a picture of the receipt and put the, the amount in. You actually, because of the pilot program, you actually, uh, DoorDash will text you. They will send you a link. And then once you open that link up, it's going to ask for um, your telephone number that is attached to your DoorDash account as well as your email. There's another line that will ask for the customer's information um, and the amount of the uh, products that you purchased. And then you will have to upload a picture of the receipt from your phone. So yes, you do have to take a picture of the receipt. Um, but you have to upload the file, okay? Um, and this is totally separate from the app. Once you close out the app, um, you know, the app is closed, but you still have to upload that information um, because this is a pilot program. Now, I'm pretty sure that DoorDash, once this pilot program is over, um, DoorDash will make it a lot convenient for us to just take that picture and put in the amount and then in the app itself, and then we're done. Um, but, for me, going shopping to different locations, uh, a CVS, uh, they mentioned a the CVS, there's a barcode that you have to scan, um, you know, and every store is going to be different. So a $9 payout, DoorDash base pay was $6 and the customer only tipped $3, okay? Um, to me, that order was well worth more than nine dollars that order should have been at least to me at least close to 15 bucks y'all but i did it anyway because i wanted to see how it all worked um i'll take the nine bucks considering it was walgreens but if that order would have been a cbs and with the same amount of items or something else or a store that i'm not familiar with hence why i don't like instacart um i probably will go ahead and decline it and since we are in the pilot program for this um, 
any rate negative ratings that you get, um, DoorDash will not put. And if you decline any of these, it will not accept uh, hurt your acceptance rating. Okay, so this is a pilot program, um, but I just wanted to give you guys an ins and out on. Uh, my experience with this new shop and deliver okay with DoorDash so um, if it's not in your area yet uh, it may head out to your area um, I'm out here in the Phoenix area so you know if you guys have gotten those orders let me know what your experience is down in the comments below um, this way you know your experience my experience will in comments will give you know some of these new drivers that may not know what to expect all right now the other thing that i did not know you guys know i can't really rock with postmates like that um i really don't like their app as much um but it looks like they've done a lot of changes over the last three or four months since i have not used their app okay so one of the things that i've noticed is or one of the things that i found out is they they actually have a customer service number <gasps> Whoa, I did not know that. So you can actually call and talk to a live person. Hey, I, like I said, I don't use the Postmates app, y'all. Um, but I was actually surprised because I did get a glitch on an order where I was supposed to take a picture and leave it at the door. And the app glitched out. It wouldn't let me, you know, and they tell you to go on the airplane mode and all this stuff. But that didn't work either. So I ended up having to call support, which, you know, I thought was pretty cool. So prop up to postmates for adding actual live support now i don't know how long that's been there like i said but man that was awesome so uh the other thing that i noticed and this has helped out tremendously with me grabbing multiple orders um like i do with doordash and grub up together i'm always doubling up i'll have a grub up order i might have two doordash orders i'm rocking and rolling because you know it's easy for me to know where these orders are going because I can see it on the map, okay? I can look on the DoorDash map and see exactly where it's going. Um, I can look on the Grubhub map, see exactly where it's going when the order comes in. Makes it easy for me to accept these orders and work two platforms at the same time. Hence why I didn't like Postmates because Postmates didn't let me see where I was going with the customer. Well, guess what, y'all? They do now. So maybe they added this recently. Maybe it's been there and I never knew it. But now I'm able to grab Postmate orders along with Grubhub and DoorDash orders, y'all. So over the last week, man, I did like four hours of Postmate, y'all. Um, just kind of grabbing orders along the way with my Grubhub and DoorDash. And after the tips came through on all those orders in the four hour period that I did do Postmates, I ended up with $108, y'all. So that is awesome. I love the fact that I can see it's really tiny. I'm gonna put a picture up right now for you guys to take a look at that. All right, so I tried to circle where the actual customer was on the map. That's what that circle is. You can see that it was a Dutch Brothers. I don't go to no coffee shops because I'm not sitting in no car lines. I don't do Starbucks because their lobbies are closed. I decline all those orders. I'm just not doing them. Um, but here's the thing, guys. They actually show on the map where it's going. So that has made it tremendously very easy for me to grab these orders because I know where they're going. Okay? So... For all you guys that's only rocking one app, if you're only doing DoorDash, I'm trying to tell you guys, it's very, very slow out there. You guys got to try to jump on as many apps as you, as possible and learn how to multi-app. That's really the only way you're going to make good money um, in this industry is if you are multi-apping and grabbing orders um, at the same time. I mean... I can't tell you how many times I'll grab an, a, a DoorDash order at a particular restaurant and lo and behold, Grubhub sends me an order at the same restaurant, you know, and man, now I'm looking at an average of, you know, 15 to $20 right there in that half an hour. And there's been days where I've done 40 and $50 an hour because, you know, I'll get a double order for Taco Bell at, you know, for Grubhub which would be paying me like 20 something dollars. And then, you know, right across the street, I got another $10 order 
for DoorDash and they all go in the same direction, y'all. So um, anyway, just wanted to throw those little tidbits out there. Um, hope this information helped you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if, if you guys have any experiences or you guys have any questions. I try to answer most questions. Um, I haven't done videos in a while, so sometimes I don't even look to see if people have even, you know, put questions out there for me. So I might be a day or two, um, but for the most part, I try to answer everybody's questions. And uh, with that being said, y'all know what I always say. Drive safe out there. Make that money.